So the Galaxy Fold is here, it's unboxed, we have it in hand, have it at home, and you know the first thing we did is throw some games and do some gaming. Yes, this is your gaming video on the Galaxy Fold. We're gonna be checking out uh, Asphalt 9, Dynasty Warriors as our third game in the mix, and of course, PUBG Mobile, which you guys know I'm a noob in, I'm terrible, but forgive my gameplay, because I'm gonna show you how gaming looks on a foldable uh, device which is quite interesting. Now the Galaxy Fold comes with two displays, a 4.5 inch in the front, you've got a 7.3 that folds out, and you can use either of those two displays to game because you've got a Snapdragon 855, 12 gigs of RAM, uh, a lot of storage of 512 gigabytes of storage, and a lot of performance packed in, which we'll check out to see how it, it deals with temperature in terms of cooling, and also in terms of audio. Now in terms of battery, we, we don't engage that right now just because we wanted to just show you what gameplay really experience and feels like on this device. Now you can game on that front display at 4.5 inches, so you can start off there and certain games will allow you to switch over to the foldable display by simply just opening it up and switching to that, which is really nice. Now not all games have that feature, but hopefully that will be updated to, to work with the Galaxy Fold here. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into some gameplay so we can see how well the Galaxy Fold handles gaming.
shit. <sighs> so first thing I've got to say is that gaming on the fold is really nice. Having that kind of real estate on a smartphone is great. The fact that it's not a tablet, I can still fold it down, is really, really, I can't stress, really good. Playing Asphalt 9, playing PUBG, even Dynasty Warriors, I was able to use a lot of that real estate. Now there's some quirks that I don't like, of course, the notch in the larger foldable Bull display is a little off-putting, but you get used to it quite quickly. And um, and also uh, the fact that the front display is 4.5 inches. So if you want to use that to play certain games, it might it just looks really really small. Now in terms of the crease and how it looks, you know you can uh, you can bend that crease and still game effectively. Uh, the way the crease works with the Galaxy Fold, it's got this really snap mechanism, so you really can't put it. Uh, in a 90 degree angle to use a second part as say a controller But you can tilt it a little bit and you still get enough of that gameplay in yes Certain times you can see the crease, but it's really not distracting at all um, I've had I've you know once we got the galaxy full we threw some games in there and right away I was immersed in gameplay performance now in terms of performance here. We're talking about heat Right, uh, it ran you know relatively cool. Even though I did the temperature gauge, the maximum temperature would go was 97 degrees. It didn't feel that hot to me, but there you have it in terms of temperature. And that is at the you, you basically you, you the highest point is at the back, closer towards the rear camera of the Galaxy Fold. Uh, in terms of just general performance, it handled well. Every game ran smooth there and looked pretty good. So if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more Galaxy Fold videos. If there's anything you wanna see on the Fold, let us know, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.